I don't remember last time it was raining here in Shanghai. Nor normally during the summer it rains almost every day or, or like every weekend. Saturday it's Sunday for sure we rain here in Shanghai. Today is my last day of class here. I'm going to the university now. I think this is the first time ever I'm in Shanghai Jiao Tong University and it's raining. And finally I, I come here a bit early and I got my coffee. Every time I come here at the same time and it never can get my coffee. Every time I come here at the same time and it never can get my coffee. It's the class now, it's raining, good weather, cold and excited, you know, like the last day of class here. Maybe next time we're here will be February. But one thing I can, I, I can say is that this is so far, it's like one hour, one fucking hour from my place to here. Just see the guys using the umbrella, it's really good system. They just show me how to get the umbrella and stuff. And the guy said it's two RMB for 12 hours, so you can use like a whole day for two RMB. Very convenient if you want. If it's raining like today, I would definitely rent one. You know, you can stay the whole class here for two RMB and you don't need to deposit, you don't need to do anything, you just return that and then it's done. You know, it's really good. Like, if you guys want to rent an umbrella, you have an option, you know. It's really good to do a doctor degree here in Shanghai. Shanghai Jiao University, the top three universities in China. But there is a problem, you know, like every time you come here, you need to attend some class that, that are not useful, you know, like as Chinese culture or ch Chinese language. Those kind of courses that, uh, man, I study here. If I've if never been in China, it's fine, you know, but I have here over seven years, so I understand about the culture, I speak the language and whatever, but they still want me to attend the class. Just finished my class. Brian is here. This is his car. This is a nice guy from Singapore. He always come like after class uh, together because he just live in this building here. And uh, it was really fun, you know. Like the first day of the class, we only have five PhD students. And then this guy just sent a message in the group. And then I say, "Hey, where you live?" And he said, oh, "I live here." And I said, "Man, I just live here." So we just like close to each other, and we didn't know. So the first class day of the class. We went together and now we've become friends and he's a very nice guy. He also has a uh, music school just crossing the street here. Very nice guy and his wife is from Taiwan. His name is Brian. Amazing guy. <laughs> 